All right, good morning. Welcome back to the Ohio Farm. It's April 2. Um, we have to think about what's going on. We uh, got our corn in. I know that. I think we're good over at that field. Oh, my God. That was a brick. <laughs> oh, whoa. That was awful. Oh, wow. I didn't even hit the back. But what the? Wow. <laughs> wow. Huh. It's two misses. That one went through. Okay. Wow. Let's put this here before anything else happens. Challenger driving by. Oh, let's go look at the... We got a honey pallet. Let's go move that off the spawn point. So... More honey can spawn if it wants to. We need to take a look at um, used equipment and contracts. There was in used equipment a mechanical loading bale trailer. The Anderson for the round bales. I'm tempted, but I don't have to have it. It'd be nice, but I don't want to spend the money. It's half, you know, about half price usually. I'm looking back to see what spawns just one crate on the pallet. It'll carry, tw the trailer will carry 24 round bales of all sizes. It would be a big time saver. But I don't, yeah, it's not really necessary. Money's going up, means we got a bale over at the wildlife feeding station. So let's look off into the dawn and see what we have for used equipment. It's still there. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, wow. That, yikes. Three hundred and seventy four horsepower. Wow. Three hundred and seventy four horsepower. Could get some big equipment for that. Oh, contracts. Just weeding on field four. Where's field four? It's a field across the road. Oh, just this one? Wow. But are they, are they medium or are they small? They're small, but you need a hoe. See, now, wasn't I talking about this the other day? So what, 
this is potatoes. So you have to use a hoe for potatoes. Huh. Well, I don't have a hoe. Am I not going to have anything to do on April 2? I got grass I can cut down over at the container field.
Let's see, turn on grass silage. put things away and go get some lunch, right? No. <laughs> I thought it was later than that. It's 845? Uh, I could have swore it was later than that. good. Uh, where's the front of the weeder? I think it's on this side. the best I put the weir in I think ever but it's just a little too far over yeah I think that's all she wrote We'll keep an eye on used equipment and uh, contracts. I don't expect anything to come up, but we'll see. truck <laughs> okay let's see in April 3 maybe okay it's April 3 
uh, slept in till six. Did I get up at five yesterday? I don't even remember. I slept in knowing that there wouldn't be probably anything to do or much. I kept on uh, an eye on used equipment yesterday. And all that really came up was, all that knew, was a uh, forage trailer, a Coeco, but we already have one. That one case tractor is intriguing, and I'm still fighting off the desire to get the uh, Anderson bale trailer, but... Uh, been successful so far. I don't know if we'll really have much to do today either. Let's take a look at used equipment. What do we got? Got a header and a big square baler. Nice 25 foot header. Hmm. Contracts. Nothing. All right. We'll go check on the stave silo production. We might need to turn that off. Let's look. Is the money still going up? Yep, so the bale hasn't been consumed yet. We can throw one in the back of the pickup for later, though. I don't know, when can we start our harvest on our... Is canola in June? I don't know. It doesn't look close to mature yet. here first at the stave silo. Yeah, I ran out already, so deactivate that. I don't know how long it was on, but... Wow, we need to get maybe some hay from somewhere. Probably should have done that last cut as hay over at the container field. It'll probably be alright though. That's what I want to check on was that's, I guess, just go drive by the animals. We could take them some total mix ration, maybe. The grass look. Quite a bit of manure. Thing seems to be good over here with the cows.
which shoulder did I look over? I don't remember. <laughs> All right. They took it all, huh? I'll make us up some more, but I don't have the right tractor here to move the forage trailer. This one won't do it. very well. Next time we have one of the other trailers over, or tractors over here, we can move that maybe. Man, is that it for April 3? been up a half an hour <laughs> we're out active for a half an hour nothing more to do <sighs> all right see you later oh, good morning it's may 1st april was kind of slow once we got the corn planted um, yeah. 
So what, so far in this episode, we've been April 2, 3, and now May 1. Oof. Well, I know that the uh, bale's been consumed. And it looks like we've got a complete honey pallet. So let's put it in the pickup and sell it. It's silly that you gotta turn it on to open the tailgate, but that is indeed what you must do. So we'll grab the skid steer, we'll put this honey pallet in, and then we'll grab the other one. So I used to think that you needed to have the pallet spawn point near the beehives, but you don't. And you only get one spawn point on the map. So you could have a field clear on the other side of the uh, map and have uh, beehives on it. And you, the honey pallets would spawn at your uh, spawn location. Now, if you have a lot of them, I can see where the problem is. You'd be emptying it a lot. That's why they have those mods like the, uh, the shelving unit or whatever that the pallets will come out on. That's a pretty good one. I think that gives me enough room. And then I've seen people put all their beehives close together. And there's really no need for that. You could have them all over the map and the honey pallets are gonna spawn right there. So what you want to do is you want to put them near your canola fields or your potato fields so that whatever the effect is that they advertise, which I'm not sure what it is, but it's supposed to give you a yield bonus with the bees pollinating your uh, potatoes or your honey, your honey your potatoes or your canola. And the honey is a byproduct of that. So as time goes on, I imagine I will probably put more beehives in. Which would be able to range over to my other fields. So the canola is coming in nice. The canola will be ready to harvest in July, same time as the wheat. And the barley will be ready in June. The field I want to buy south of the West Place is in wheat. Costs about $316,000. So we'll buy that before harvest. We haven't even looked at used... Have we looked at used equipment yet this morning? Let's stare off into the mist across the fields and see what... Use equipment might be available. Ooh, there's a slurry tank that we need. But it doesn't have... It's 
so how come it doesn't give me the combinations of what you can put? It's too big. Anyway, we don't have enough horsepower. Now, had we bought that big tractor, it'd be perfect for us. I didn't look for contracts, did I? None. Best price for honey right now is at Ohio Agri Co op. Okay. Here's what I think I'll do is I will first go shoulder and look over. I don't know. I'm going to look this way. Uh, um. Gonna go to the wildlife feeding station first and then go to Ohio Agri Co op. do if we're back in the waiting game I guess whoa dang it's deer <laughs> glad I missed them even with this big old truck I'd hate to hit one of them I don't know maybe the grass over at the west place might be ready to cut Probably not. Oh, it should be soon, you think? It's May already. touch that grass yet and it's May already. Don't look ideal. There, that's nice. Alright. Creek here. Scenic Creek. Buy some land back here by the oh by the co-op. Put in a production or something.
28 per pallet. So what? 14.56 for honey. All right. Nothing to sneeze at. Free money. You don't even do anything. Just sell it. We'll head over to the last place and maybe feed the chickens. Oh. Got growth over in the cornfield. Let's go take a look. Nice. This field is really deceiving. It's much bigger than it appears because it's kind of narrow, but man, it's long. Oh, wow. Ignore the chickens and they produce eggs for you. We haven't come over here and looked in a while, but yeah, pretty soon we'll have a full pallet. Time once again for entertainment watching my attempts at backing skills with the Dolly trailer. Or I guess technically a wagon, right? few moments later. Small corrections and slow. Small corrections and slow. Small corrections and slow. Oh, come on. Practically on top of the feed trough. Why? There we go. Thank you. <laughs> uh, all right.
Oh, I was gonna check to see if White could cut the grass over here yet. I think it's too early. Oh? Yeah. Got one more, one more growth state to go. behind the house uh, house the couch shed yep oh spooked him I'm playing peekaboo, 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 peekaboo. Yeah, it's a bow hunting season. <laughs> um, the barley look. I see a deer running off through it. Barley looks good. Wheat. Nice. Quiet times. back to the house and relax a little bit keep an eye on used equipment we need a slurry spreader we need a forage harvester I'll keep an eye on things but I think we'll probably go ahead and end the episode here uh, and we'll come back in finish up May and get into the harvest. Uh, thank you for hanging out with me here at the Ohio Farm. Hope you enjoyed it. Come back and see us again. Bye for now. See you next time.